Well, we're uh, coming into an end to a fabulous uh, trip uh, to Wolfsburg with Volkswagen Group. I'm now here with Daryl Harrison from uh, Volkswagen USA. So, first of all, thank you very, very much for having us here in uh, Germany, the home of uh, Volkswagen. Yes, thanks for coming out. No, thank you. So, uh, we uh, did the whole show in reverse because we started with the Autostad, mm -hmm. which uh, probably one of the, the Golf E will end up at some point. Yes, right. right. And then uh, we visited the plant where it's built. Yes. Then uh, we drove uh, with um, uh, Christian, who mm -hmm. is one of the communications team's uh, people here in Germany. Mm -hmm. And now finally here to know more about the car that is going to come out to the States. So, the Golf E, uh, which actually we drove together uh, a few months yes. ago in California. That's right, right. that's Remember right. That? That's right. Uh, so, for a brief uh, time. So, tell us about this car because um, it's, it's, it's pretty fantastic. I, I really enjoy it. Absolutely, yeah. The, the E Golf is the first all electric Volkswagen from Vol uh, uh, first all electric from Volkswagen coming to the United States. Um, it's a great product. You know, really what we were trying to do is one, make one of the most efficient compact. TVs in the market, and two, ensure that even in electric form, uh, the vehicle captured the Golf formula, which was fun to drive yet practical. Uh, we think we did that. And actually, not because you're saying it, I have to admit that, because knowing the Golf, and uh, I always have said that if, if I had to buy a car, because I always get like media cars, I would buy a Golf, because it's it's everything. It's like mm. everything you need in a car. It's like Absolutely. practical. That's correct. Like a good looking car. Yep. Uh, good, great performance. So when you get into this electric car, I mean, to me, it was uh, I got the feeling of it's like a more complete uh, electric car. That's correct. Car. Well, that that was really the goal. I mean, you know, one thing that's great. There's a couple of things great about the the e golf. Actually, there's a lot great about the e golf. But a couple of things, uh, a, a particular note. One, you know, the e golf the, is on it resides on a new modular transverse platform, yeah. which is all golf uh, reside on. The good thing about that is that the platform is actually designed to be able to accommodate a number of different powertrains: diesel, gas turbo, uh, yeah. compressed natural gas, uh, electric, etc. So, you know, because of that new platform, you know, we really are able to not only um, maximize uh, the space inside the car, but also each component that's related to electric car uh, drivetrain or electric vehicle com componentry actually has its own place. Um, and so what that means for the consumer is, one, you have an, e an electric vehicle that is about the same weight as other Golf models, and two, you have the exact same uh, interior volume and cargo space. So that's uh, one of the great stories about the car, like yeah. the engineering and it, like, in, on it uh, allowed not to lose any of the characteristics of the true Golf. That's correct, yeah. It's the exact same interior space, exact same cargo space as any Golf. Um, so there's no intrusion from the battery, there's there's no loss of space. And not only that, but it's actually one of the largest, um, in terms of interior space, one of the largest compact EVs on the market. Um, it's actually the largest, uh, well, one of the largest, excuse me, one of the largest uh, compact EVs in the market. Um, it also has one of the largest uh, trunks in the market. It's actually, uh, if you measure the trunk space in the Eagle, or any goal for that matter, it's actually larger than any mid-sized sedan on the market. So it's um, it's very practical. Um, it has all the same great DNA, but it offers an electric drivetrain, which is awesome. So um, you just uh, today, actually, even though here in <coughs> Germany there were some news from the United States, like yes. the EPA yeah, rated the Golf as the most efficient car in the segment. That's correct. You know, and that's that that actually is it. Go, it's in line with exactly what I just mentioned in terms of the fun to drive yet practical formula. Um, you know, we're definitely excited that the E Golf uh, was was deemed as the most efficient uh, EV in its class. Um, 116 combined miles per gallon equivalent or MPGE, 126 MPGE on the highway, 105 in the city. Um, great, great numbers. Um, and it really just validates what our engineers and, and what we've been seeing um, through the development phases. And that is, it's a very efficient car um, that offers quality range, um, a battery that's very efficient, um, and a number of different features and options for consumers to be able to uh, really leverage that flexibility and that efficiency. Okay, so let's now talk about when our consumers in 
the U.S. going to be able to get this car and Absolutely. where? Yeah, so the, the, there's a 11 initial launch markets, um, and it, primarily on the northeast of the United States as well as the West Coast, Oregon and California to be specific. Um, the car goes on sale in November. Um, so I would say for consumers that are interested, either visit w, uh, VW.com to find out where your local certified dealer is, um, or stay tuned for the uh, the month of November, and uh, we'll we'll send out some more information about when cars are available. Yeah, and pricing is already out, right? That's correct. Yeah. So the initial uh, model that we we will sell is a uh, SEL Premium model. Basically, it's a fully loaded model. Um, the only really options you have are interior colors and exterior colors because every other option is included. Uh, so uh, starting MSRP is 35445 uh, We also have a lease price. Uh, so it will be $299 a month with $1,999 down. So you have both options. You can buy it or lease it you because some other it. manufacturers are just like leasing them. That's correct. Yeah, you can buy or lease. Yeah. And uh, how are you going to determine where and when you're going to sell it more? Like you said, 11 states for now? Well, what, what, what we think initially that the vast majority of the volume will be on the West Coast. Um, and that's just in line with what, um, you know, existing EV sales. Um, and, and really what we're looking at is, uh, one, the states that we've selected, uh, we, we have determined or we feel are, are the most progressive. Um, they have, uh, they've been the most aggressive about installing infrastructure. Uh, they have really uh, great incentive programs. And so those are the states where we're, we're starting out first, um, and we'll, we'll look at the market and see where it goes from there. Um, you know, that'll be based on consumer demand, that'll be based on uh, dealer feedback, uh, you know, market performance, all of those things. So while here we're in Germany, we also test drove the GTE. That's uh, correct. The first plug-in hybrid in the Golf family. That's right. That's correct. Yeah, it's a great car. It's it's really designed to to offer a sense of efficiency to the GT uh, Golf family line. Um, you know, so it's fun to drive like the GTI, um, but it offers the added benefit of being a hybrid and, and, and adding an electric motor. Yeah. So are we getting that one in the States too? You know, we're still working on that. So, you know, right now it's, uh, you know, we're considering all options for the market in the coming years. There's no current plans, but we'll see. I'm sure a lot of uh, golf enthusiasts in the, st in the States will like, love to have it, but I uh, will wait for those news too. Absolutely. To happen. Well, thank uh, thanks again, uh, Daryl, for uh, this opportunity to visit um, Autostad, which is one of my favorite places in the world. The plant uh, where they build a regular Golf, and actually the, the Golf uh, E2, right? Absolutely. And the battery plant where they are uh, preparing all the battery packages for all the... Um, Golf E and the... also the GTE yeah, and so the Op. Th that's correct. So the, the, the actually the Braunschweig plant uh, uh, assembles the battery packs for the E-Up and the E-Golf. Uh, the GTE battery pack is actually assembled elsewhere and they do final checks in Braunschweig and they send it to uh, Wolfsburg for, oh, okay. for production, yeah. Well, thank you very much again and we'll, uh, we'll keep an enjoying uh, the Golfs uh, while we have it in the States and we we'll, can't wait to, to drive the in, in the States like in the, as a production car. That sounds good. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Darren. Bye. Bye. Eso ha sido todo en esta edición especial de Auto 060 desde Wolfsburg en Alemania, la sede mundial de la Volkswagen. Y nuestro agradecimiento a Janine Ginny Van, a Daryl Harrison de Volkswagen USA y también a Christian Bullman de Volkswagen allá en Alemania por todas las facilidades para realizar este programa. Y como siempre los invito a que vayan al canal de YouTube Autos Javier Mota para que vean una gran cantidad de videos que publicamos sobre esta visita. Uno muy curioso, por cierto, Wolfsburg, como decíamos, en uno de los segmentos tiene una población de 120 mil habitantes, la mitad de los cuales trabajan para Volkswagen y obviamente eh, sus eh, familiares y sus amigos siempre tienen una relación directa con eh, la fábrica alemana y manejando alrededor de Wolfsburg es eh, en realidad muy raro ver un auto de otro de otro fabricante. Eh, al averiguar un poco más, eh, los registros públicos indican que 94% de los vehículos registrados en Wolfsburg son de Volkswagen o de alguna de las marcas que pertenecen al grupo como Seat, como Skoda y Audi. Así que muy, muy interesante este viaje a Wolfsburg, Alemania. Yo soy Javier Mota, nos pueden seguir en eh, Twitter, arroba Javier Mota, y como les decía, visiten el canal YouTube, Autos Javier Mota, para toda la información y todos los videos. Los esperamos muy pronto en otra edición aquí en Cristina Radio Network, esto es Auto 060.
Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting. Thank you.